girls kind of keep all our friendships intact we do with our families romantic relationships there's just so much going on <laughs> Touchdown show. Well, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to Dark Girls Can Too. I'm so happy to be back. Today is going to be a really interesting video. So, first of all, getting back into my sit down videos, I definitely wanted to kind of kick it off with something that was a little bit personal to me um as you can tell by the title we're going to be talking about feeling lost in your 20s and overcoming that now i will say i will preface by saying i don't have all the answers i am by no means an expert but this is something that you know i recently went through this is something that a lot of people go through i've been seeing people have this conversation all over tiktok and so i like i said i don't have all the answers but i figured that i could offer some really valuable insight and advice so let's start by talking about the things that make us even start to feel lost in our 20s, right? There's so much going on. And I just happen to think that the reason why a lot of us feel this lost feeling or this confused feeling is because we're going through so many transitions really from the time we're 18 to the time we're 30. And I'm sure that there are other major transitions after that that I have no idea about and quite frankly don't want to think about right now because 20s is hard enough. But yeah, there's so many big transitions happening starting with us graduating from college or graduating from high school rather, uh, trying to pick a college, going to college, trying to navigate through that, graduating college, transitioning into adulthood for real, for real. Paying bills, you know, trying to keep all our friendships intact, trying to deal with our families, our romantic relationships. There's just so much going on and it's all so new. So I think that because it is all so new, it can start to feel really overwhelming. And not to mention, you know, we're also trying to figure out what the heck we want to do with our lives, right? Um, and if you're anything like me, you feel like you have so many paths you could go down and that can be overwhelming, right? I think a lot of us, we start to, because we have so many major decisions to make, we start to experience, if you know we haven't felt it before, our first real bits of self-doubt. And a major thing for me that was really stressing me out was I'm having to go through all these things, but then I'm also trying to learn how to trust my own intuition, like trying to figure out what that is, how it sounds, you know, when to go with it, when not, you know what I mean? Like trying to trust your own decisions. And if you're anything like me, you call your mom and your daddy for everything, your granny, whoever. You call your family whenever you don't know what to do. But like what I've learned is your family can give you all the advice in the world, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it'll work for you, right? Because everybody's life is different. So it's just, it gets overwhelming. It gets really hard because no one has the answers that will work perfectly for your specific life. So it, life really forces you to, you know, man up, woman up and really make decisions for yourself. Then we really start to get into that doubt where we're like, okay, well, what if I make the wrong decision? What if I completely screw up my life? All of these thoughts are like just flowing through our heads and it, it can make you feel crazy. So before I get into how to overcome, how to start to get past these feelings, um, I kind of want to get into a little bit of my personal experiences with this. You know, maybe you'll be able to relate, but I remember first feeling feeling this lost or overwhelmed feeling um, shortly actually before I graduated college. I didn't have a job lined up. I didn't really know like which path I wanted to go. I had an idea, like I knew I wanted to be a writer. I knew I wanted to be a journalist in some form or fashion, but I just felt like there were so many different options and so many different avenues that I could go down that I actually would love and enjoy. And it just, it started to make me feel like, ah, like what if I make the wrong decision, you know? And I think I procrastinated a little bit just because I was afraid of making the wrong decision and I can first hand tell you that that procrastination got you nowhere <laughs> yes it caused a lot of anxiety um, in me and then I started to feel it again shortly after I made my move to Texas because I relocated not really knowing anybody down here not having family and it felt a bit isolating I mean I, I thought it I thought it would of course 
um, to a certain degree, but I think I kind of underestimated how um, isolated I would feel not being around my family. Back home, well, I guess I had went to college in between that time, but I was able to come home for breaks and things like that. But after, you know, becoming an adult and moving out on my own, there was no more breaks. <laughs> so I'm literally just out here by, not by myself, but because I, I moved with a roommate, but I'm literally just down here like long term like so yeah that part was really stressful like I said not having my family not having friends and then trying to constantly put myself out there to jobs and putting myself out there trying to meet friends too it was just and I'm glad that I can finally put a name to this other feeling that I was feeling um it's called imposter syndrome and I was able to do a little bit of research, look into that and figure out that that's exactly what I was experiencing. And I think a lot of people experience this, but just don't know what to call it. But it's basically when you start to question, um, you know, who you are, if you're good enough, if you deserve the things that, you know, you've acquired so far. And I really started to question myself, like, what did I think I was to move all the way out here? Like, girl. <laughs> But I can also say that that's when I really had to pump the brakes and figure out what was going on with me. Because what do you mean? Who do I think I am? I don't think I had ever questioned myself in that way before because I just was always very much so confident in who I was. I knew, you know, where I was going, what I was going to do. And this was the first time in my life where I started to feel unsure. Yeah, when I started to question myself, that's when I knew I had to take a step back and really do some, some digging, some internal work to figure out what exactly was going on with me and why all of a sudden I started to experience all of this doubt, right? So now let's get into what helped me get out of this rut that a lot of people stay in for years and years and years and some people just really don't get out of it. I had to really sit back with myself and think about all the things that made me me and remember who I was and remind myself that there's nothing that you've given your all to thus far that you failed at. And so we're not gonna start now, period. Like, so pick yourself up, you know, do whatever work if you need to go to therapy, if you need, whatever it is, you make sure you take a step in that direction, but we're not about to, you know, start questioning ourselves and giving up right now. This is not the time to do that. You didn't move all the way out here. Now it's really time to show up for yourself and really show out. I had to really sit back and remember the, the qualities about myself that made me as strong as I am today and got me where I am today. I'm, you know, a strong person. I'm strong minded. I'm determined. I am intelligent. I'm brave. I'm just all of these things. I had to really just give myself repeated positive affirmations on a regular basis. Sometimes I had to write it down on a sticky note and put it on my mirror just so I had to also remember that I deserve everything that I want in this life and you do too. I had to also remember that I have so much to offer to the world. Like I have so many strengths, so many talents. I have so much to offer in my friendships, my romantic relationships. I just am a well-rounded person and all shade to my boyfriend, but I had to keep my Disney mindset that he says I have. He gets on my nerves. He always tells me that I have, I'm like a, a, a real life that's so raven character. And what he means to say is I have a way of not letting life like upset me because life is gonna life things are gonna happen but what good are we gonna be if we allow the negative things that happen in life to completely control who we are and how we react i try not to let negative experiences turn me into a negative person or just ruin my day i look at most things through a very positive lens and you know sometimes that could be to my detriment but I, I feel like that does me more good than it does harm but yes all that to say life is definitely gonna life things are gonna happen and a lot of them will be negative you know nobody's life is perfect and it's okay to allow yourself to feel those feelings right but feel them and let them pass don't allow them to consume you so yes, advice for other people experiencing this. Cause like I said, I know this has been a big conversation, um, you know, on social media amongst the 20 somethings. Um, and I, I wanted to offer some of the things that have helped me get to a better mental space and just a, a better space in general. So the first thing that I will say is take risk and try, fail, repeat. 
Try, fail, repeat. Stay with me. Try, fail, repeat. You know, there are going to be times where, you know, you go after things and maybe they don't work out in the way that you wanted them to, but try and like adjust your perspective and look at it from a different lens. Look at it in a different light. Maybe it didn't work out for your benefit. Maybe that wasn't for you. Maybe you need to just shift direction just a little bit. Also, you are not alone. I know people say that all the time, but like you're literally not like, and I know it can really, really, really feel like that with social media and everybody just sharing all of these, you know, amazing positive moments. Everybody's traveling, everybody's, you know, booed up. Everybody's got all these great things going on, but nobody is showing, you know, the nights when they're crying, the nights when, you know, they're struggling with their own mental health. Nobody's going to share that. You know what I mean? So that can make you feel like you're alone, but trust me, everybody has those moments more often than you think. And I would say this next one is the single most important advice that I got um, recently from a friend. And I think after just talking to them about everything that I was going through, they could tell, number one, she's a control freak, <laughs> but also she's just so in her head. And I've always been like that more so, you know, recently, but she just told me like, look, you've got to let go of your expectations. Like you the higher expectations, the higher the letdown, honey, because things are not always going to work out the way that you want them to. If you believe in God, you've got to surrender to God and just allow God and trust God to lead your life in the way that it should go. And if you don't believe in God, surrender to the universe if that's what you believe in. Just surrender. You, you can't hold all of that in because you'll drive yourself crazy. You literally, you know, you control your life in some aspects, but then there's some things like external factors that you can't control. And if you try to do that, you're gonna go nuts. <laughs> I would also say don't let other things, um, other people change who you are. I think I, I kind of previously touched on that earlier, but yes, do not let things overly affect you. Like I said, feel the emotions, feel the feelings, let them pass and let that be it. Also, I'd say be open to new people and new experiences. I can't tell you how many times I've come across people down here that I probably would have never thought that I have anything in common with or connect with. And I actually was able to. And it, it really surprised me. And now I'm just completely open. It doesn't matter what you look like, where you come from, what race you are. I'm open to everything. Now, if you get a bad vibe or a bad energy, you know, steer clear. But just you know, feel people out, give people a chance. Give I would also say, try to get excited about life again. I, mean, I know we're in our 20s, but we're still so young and fresh and there's so many other experiences that we're gonna have, so many more people we're gonna meet, so many, you know, career changes and just life events. And it's like, if you allow yourself to harp on the negative and get down about that, you won't be able to appreciate when beautiful things come into your life. I would also say, get really serious about your goals if you need to make a list definitely do that and what I find that helps me the most is making a list of my major goals and then making a smaller list of steps to get to those bigger goals it's kind of hard sometimes to get to those goals if you don't know you know what you need to do to get there so be really detailed and get really serious about them and then also last thing last thing I know I just gave so many tips but find ways to release stress like i said before life is going to do its thing and you are going to get stressed it's inevitable but find things that make you happy and make you escape from your day-to-day -day. so whether it's reading that's one thing that i've really been picking up on lately going to the gym diving into your work if starting a youtube channel is what you want to do going out and making friends and being social if that relieves your stress you've got to figure out ways to take care of yourself during this time because it's a lot going on but that is all that i have thank you guys so much for watching i actually really enjoyed it this was fun and i hope that you guys got something out of it i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely leave me a comment below make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to join the family if you are new and i can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye